Hello, my name is Mike Turpak, and this is my 1993 Ford Escort RS Cosworth Rally Car. This is a 1993 Ford Escort RS Cosworth. It's Ford's rally car from the 90s. This one was built by Ford as a Group N car originally. I bought it off some rally guys in New York years ago that brought it over here. About six years ago, I went to get a little bit of rust repair and update the roll cage. And like any good car project, it went way beyond that. So engine out, rotisserie, rebuild the floors cut out the old cage, put a new cage in. And over the last three years, I've rebuilt every nut and bolt on it to get it ready to rally. I've owned the car for probably almost 20 years now. Kind of wanted to rally it back then, but just never had the time. And you know, finally decided to, to get it ready to rally. And originally found it on the internet, just on some of the rally forum pages. Really liked kind of rally cars back then. When I bought the car, I knew nothing about cars and never even had changed the oil in my. Now I've probably taken it apart, put it back together four or five times now completely. So this car is a two liter T34 turbo. It's a Cosworth designed engine. So dual overhead cam, actually based on the Ford Pinto block of all cars. The kind of the cool thing about this car is it runs anti-lag. What it does is it ignites the fuel as the exhaust valves open to keep the turbo spinning. So you have positive boost the entire time. It, it's kind of interesting to drive with it on because there's no engine braking. So whatever speed you're going into a corner, you will continue to go that speed without slowing down. In rallies, I'll actually left foot brake. So my foot will be on the, the gas pedal and my left foot's actually doing the brake most of the time. Kind of interesting style of driving, but uh, most rally guys uh, drive that way. When you look under the hood of this car, some kind of cool 90s tech things kind of pop up right away. So right in the front of the engine, you'll see two what looks like fuel injectors. They're actually air injectors and that controls the boost of the car. You've got the remote reservoirs for the, the suspension coming out the top, real big strut bar kind of just for strength of the car. The roll cage is actually tied into the to all the suspension points as well for strengthening and a lot of just heat reflective materials and stuff to try to keep the heat down. So another unique feature of this car, talking about braking, is you've got a hydraulic handbrake. You get to uh, hairpin turns or really tight turns, you actually just pull that and it'll lock the rear brakes and let the car actually pivot around, rotate around. So it makes it a lot quicker to, to get around really sharp turns. Basically drifting came from the rally scene and you'll see a lot of uh, handbrakes on, on drift cars, but this is where it kind of all started from. A lot of the parts are from Summit Racing. Most of the safety systems, the seat belts, the seats, the fire suppression system, the fire extinguishers. When building the car, all the fuel lines, brake lines, pretty much the whole braking system was from Summit, as well as like uh, the fuel cell, pretty much anything you would need for, for safety racing equipment, as well as the gear I wear, the suit, the helmet, the Hans, pretty much everything that's required to race, uh, I got at Summit. The biggest change between most kind of forms of motorsports and rally is the suspension. These are long travel, really thick coilover suspension with remote reservoir. They're made to handle a lot of abuse, way more abuse than anything uh, you would find on an actual track. You can control the compression and rebound, low speed and high speed. So if you hit a giant rock or, or a big kind of rut pothole, you tend to just glide right over it and keep going. I am the only Escort Cosworth uh, running. Generally, you run against a lot of Subarus and Mitsubishis. This car is obviously from the 90s, so a little bit older, kind of historic tech. Uh, definitely just as quick as a lot of those cars. Something kind of cool that uh, people really get excited because it is such an iconic car. 
I run against guys like Travis Pastrana and Ken Block. I'm in a lower class than them. They're in the open class, I'm in the limited class. So you run the st same stages, same rally, uh, but you're just kind of competing in a different class. Number one unique challenge on this car is sourcing parts that aren't common. So Ford has parts designated as 909 parts, which was their rally specific parts. So daily searches on the internet forums and, and Facebook for spare parts is always a challenge. So parts are getting kind of gobbled up as quick as you can find them. One of the challenges when I, when I got this car was rust to begin with, being in the Midwest as well. When this car was built in England, they actually used expanding foam in all the chassis rails and sills for strengthening. A lot of the, the rust I got from the car was from the inside out. So that's why I did have to get kind of completely rebuilt floors and, and sills. And at that point, I decided to update the cage because the roll cage was from 1993 standards. So today, it's up to modern ARA standards, which is a lot thicker roll bar tubing, a lot more strengthening points, uh, and a lot safer for sure. So besides rallies, uh, I do like to go to car shows. You get all kind of attention. A lot of people know what the car is, excited to see it out, especially with the night kind of stage set up with the light pods, but the wing is iconic for sure. The box flares, just the 90s look to it. So at Summit Racing, I work on the merchandising team. I am a brand manager. Our team handles uh, pretty much all the, the companies we carry, all the vendors. I have around 150 vendors or, or companies I, I work with. So being a car enthusiast definitely helps working you know, at Summit Racing. Just knowing kind of general product knowledge on a lot of things definitely helps. Trying to know what's popular and trending right now and make sure that, that we at Summit have it for customers first thing and available as quickly as, as possible. The advantage to customers buying from Summit is we are a team of enthusiasts. We love cars, we love what we do, and it really shows. You know, a lot of places that I bought from years ago before I worked at Summit really didn't mean too much. And you can tell when you go into the stores or when you call the, the customer service that people know what they're talking about and, and really like what they're doing.